Alright, this is the last video I'm going to make of this uh, person. I'm not going to say his name. You all know who he is. He said that, well, I bet you're not going to make a video about it. Oh, I bet I will. Because people need to hear my side of the story. Um, if you don't know what's going on, uh, Lansing is under siege right now by a bunch of thugs. Uh, we got a mayor that won't do shit. He's just a little wimp ass that won't do nothing about it. So, it's sort of like what happened in Seattle with the Chaz zone. You know, the Chaz, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how that started, but a bunch of idiots started this thing in Seattle called, they called it Chaz, where they blocked off like a six block radius, six block area, did their own thing. Eventually the citizens got tired of it, and... You know, they only lasted like a couple of weeks, 10 days, whatever, and the police finally moved in and tore that shit down and arrested a few people and, you know, so basically the same thing's happening in Lansing. Lansing's about a 40 minute drive, half an hour, 35 minutes from where I live. I live out in the country, Shiawassee County. <clears throat> so, um, basically the same thing is happening in Lansing. We got a bunch of idiots just running the streets doing what they're doing and you know ticking citizens off and they're, they're, they're getting tired of it they're gonna you know eventually you know like i said it is what it is and eventually lansing's gonna take care of their problem <clears throat> or eaton county is gonna take care of their problem like seattle did you know and they and they will eventually whatever way they handle it they're gonna handle it so um I had a good weekend. Uh, let me just say, on Saturday I went to a BLM rally in Swartz Creek. Um, it was peaceful. Uh, there's There were some rumors, a couple of days leading up to the events in Swartz Creek on Saturday, there were some alleged threats that some things were going to get vandalized. And some things were said on Facebook. It wasn't said on Facebook by me, it was said on say, Facebook by some other people. And some things went back and forth, and there were some rumors that some, if you go to, if you live in, if you live in Swartz Creek, uh, around the Civic Center area, there's some statues put up, um, sort of like in Allendale, Michigan, where you have the War Memorial, and there's some uh, statues put up. This statue represents this war. This statue represents this war, and the liberals are having a shit fit about this statue in Allendale representing the Civil War. It's if a Confederate soldier and a Union soldier protecting what appears to be a slave. And Allendale residents are having a hissy fit about it. Well, in Swartz Creek, we had these statues. Uh, each representing a war, and there's some rumors online saying it's going to be vandalized, because BLM of Flint was holding a rally there on Saturday. So before the rally got started, uh, top leaders of the BLM from Flint met with the Patriots. We had a bunch of Patriots there. Uh, a lot of veterans there protecting, were just sitting there, standing there, making sure that nothing would happen to these statues during the BLM protest in, in Flint. This was on Saturday. Well, in Swartz Creek, but from, the guys came from Flint. So, before the rally got started, some, I think the head guy and a couple others came over and shook the hands of some patriots and veterans. And, you know, we just had a little bit of a sit down and say, hey, you know, we're here peacefully. We want peace, nothing's going to happen. And Saturday was great. I shook the hands of a couple of BLM members from Flint. They were decent. They were decent people. And everything went everything went smooth on Saturday. Everything went smooth. Sunday, I went to church. <clears throat> and talking to some church people, I learned of a protest at the Capitol. On Sunday at 3 p.m., it was uh, protesting the uh, the mask law that took effect yesterday. So, I had I had very short notice of this protest. I didn't intend on going to Lansing on Sunday, but I did. So there was a few patriots there. So basically, what happened was, if if long story short, there's some people running around Lansing, intimidating citizens, blocking traffic. Uh, just they've been doing this for about a month, month and a half. Uh, People are getting sick of it, real fast. This I don't know why they're doing it. They're doing it to claim they're free people or whatever, and doing what they're doing, you know. 
so basically what happened on Sunday, I went to this protest and this idiot shows up. I'm not going to say his name. And uh, there's been some things swirling around social media. Um, I first learned about this individual and his little kindergartners on June 18th when he came to our rally and disrupted it. it disrupted speakers. Laid down on the pavement and, or laid on the uh, concrete. Disrupted our rally. Uh, yes, I did go to a BLM rally on June 29th. And I did not, you know, I went there to listen to some speakers. You know, see what they got to say, you know. And I left. So yeah, I did attend a BLM rally on June 29th at Lansing. And in doing so, I was... Encountered by... Mr. Smarty Pants and some of his little trolls were following me around the Capitol lawn. I just let them be. I even had one that followed me to my car twice. And yet I'm being accused of following people in Lansing when I did not. There was one Saturday where we had a petition thing going at the Capitol. I was on my way home driving on Michigan Avenue and here's the, the juvenile delinquents blocking traffic in the road, blocking the turning lane. If somebody, and yes, they were blocking the lane, and yes, they were breaking the law, because if somebody wanted to go into the lane to make a left turn, they couldn't do it. And they were blocking the intersection, because I, I, I had a green light, and I couldn't make my turn, because they were blocking the intersection. Anyway, I was on my way home. That's the story. Um, a lot of lies being said about me. I went into a stream last night. Um, for for the most part, I just shut my mouth. But there was a couple of things said. I said a couple of things, and some trolls attacked me, and I just responded, and I get kicked out of the stream. So basically, the same guy that was running the stream last night was the same guy who, on Sunday, called a bunch of gang members gang members over to protect. A bunch of chalk and vandalism in front of the state capitol because the rumor has it that people were spitting on this little drawing that they had in front of the state capitol. You know, if you're from Lansing, you know what's going on. Um, yeah, so allegedly patriots were spitting on it. I didn't see that. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm saying I didn't see it. So we called a bunch of people over and they protected their own, they protected their little whatever in front of the Capitol. It's perfectly fine. So I was confronted by Mr. at the Capitol on Sunday when I was at the, sitting on the stairs. Um, I did not confront him, he confronted me about a bunch of stuff that was said on social media. Maybe I said some things I shouldn't have said, I'm not going to lie, but in a way I stand by what I said. So he confronted me over, you know, it, it was 90% lies that came out of his mouth. I never followed him, you know. He's putting on the show like he's this big good guy and, you know, he, whatever. So I'm going to play what he had to say. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume up a little so you can hear it. He made some very good points, too. So when he confronted me yes, or, you know, Sunday when I was sitting at the steps, this is what he had to say. And I'll put a link in the description below. You can hear what he had to say. But this, I have uh, audio of what he had to say to me on Sunday at the steps. Here we go. Here we go.
so this went on for about three and a half minutes. So he made some very good points. You know, he really did. You know, okay. Like I said, 90% lies, but that's what he had to say. So um, I'll post a link in the description below. Um, yeah, I'm not going to mess with this tart anymore. Uh, if you see this guy in the streets, don't approach him. I don't know. He's he's not what he says he is. Uh, he's not really somebody you should fear. He's just he's just a big bully around Lansing. That's all he is. Um, him and his little retards. Uh, you know, people are getting sick of him. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Um, you know, I'm just gonna let him be. Uh, I blocked like a dozen of them on Facebook. I was getting some threats on Facebook. I was getting some threats on other platforms from the uh, preschoolers of Lansing. So I blocked like a dozen of them. Um, yeah, they're saying stuff behind my back, you know. I just say this to people. If you want to get to know me in person, get to know me in person, come to, come to my face. If you have a problem with me, come to my face, you know. That's all I ask of people. So um, that's basically it. I got nothing. I'm not going to deal with this idiot anymore. Um, that's it. Uh, as you heard what he had to say, uh, yeah, he made some very good points. 90% uh, lies, but, you know, this went on for about four minutes, three and a half minutes, whatever. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. And he walks away saying, oh, I bet you won't make a YouTube video about it. Well, I bet I will. So, I'm not going to deal with him anymore. I'm just going to block him wherever I see him. Anybody that wants to associate with this troll, I don't want to talk to you. That's it. And that's it. But just like Seattle, there's going to be a point where they're going to come in and take the streets back. And let me just say, if I was the, the mayor of Lansing, the streets would be clear. Let me just say that. So, yeah, that's basically it. All right, I'm out.